you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little get ready with me q and a i'm so excited to answer your questions and do some makeup so i thought i would do like a little get ready with me rather than just sitting here and answering questions so i have all my questions ready to go have all my makeup and yeah we'll just get right into it I'm not sure how much I'll talk about the makeup since I'll be answering questions and I also have a no foundation makeup routine. The routine I'm doing today is already on my channel where I do like a full um, tutorial and I go into depth so um, maybe I'll mention a few things but for the most part I'm pretty sure I'll just be answering the questions. So let's just um, get into it. So I'm just going to use my primer really quickly. I'm also going to have everything linked down below. I'll either link it, um, I'll link all the products or I'll link a like to know it page. Um, if you didn't know, a lot of people also ask me questions about how I make money through YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, um, my blog. And right now I've been making a ton of money on affiliate links so i'm making commission on um products that people make so every time you use my links you use my like to know it um i make a small percentage of that um for example i had like a tiktok go viral and then a few after that got like thousands and thousands of views so i did like fashion related ones so that they could um the viewers could be driven to my like to know it and then they started purchasing um products and i started making so much money i made so much money not like so much money but i've made more money from tiktok um through my links than i have ever done on instagram it's not like a huge amount i mean i'll just tell you once that one tiktok went viral after that i've made over two thousand dollars on um just affiliate links and commission and that's all all oh my gosh i look crazy that's all passive income so i don't have to do a thing i just post my pictures on like to know it direct people there and then they purchase so it's all passive income um i literally don't do any work except post the picture and post the links and then i made like two thousand dollars just by posting so um it's continuing to grow which is nice um before i would make most of my money in like sponsored content sponsored posts collabs but i guess i really um underestimated the power of affiliate links so that's been really great i i think that answers some questions and some people were curious about that but i guess i'll get started with the questions now um someone asked where is my ring from i wear this little gold ring every single day it actually it's kind of hard to see i wear this little gold ring every single day um it's real gold and it actually has my mom's um monogram on it she um i think my dad bought it for her as a gift um when they first started dating um so uh it doesn't fit her anymore so i stole it because i love it i love that it's real gold and it never tarnishes and yeah it's really cute so i think they just got it at um like a jewelry like a jeweler store there's like a weird shadow okay my next question is my favorite part about college and my biggest regret you ever think about college um the first thing well i have like two the ones more like fun and the ones more like grown-up stuff not like grown-up stuff but um i really liked that i was like on my own in the beginning it was super hard for me to transition to being like living with my parents being on my own and i would get super homesick and then after i got past that i really liked being on my own doing my own thing working having my own money and i think like that kind of made me into who i am today like right now i'm super like independent financially independent um completely on my own i don't even live in the same state as my parents and i really i really like that i like that i work hard i save my money i pay all my bills on time like i'm super independent financially and just like in general and um i really like that so i liked that part of like college is like learning to be on your own and kind of like growing up i feel like i grew so much and learned so much in college so um that was definitely like a really beneficial thing um about college is really like getting up and going away um i know a lot of people don't have the luxury of doing that and i'm so grateful that i got the opportunity to do that um and then 
um, and my other favorite part of college I'm putting on the Glossier Cloud Paint and Haze this is my favorite um, I loved senior week so senior week was a week um, so after classes ended and we took finals we had a week before we graduated and this week we did so much fun stuff we went to Putin Bay we stayed in cabins um, we went to an Indians game we went on a booze cruise um we had a bar crawl it was just probably the most fun i've ever had in college it was just so fun just hanging out with your friends you didn't have to worry about anything the only thing is we drank so much i've never drank in my entire life so that was crazy but that was so much fun and the best memories i have like from college are from my senior week it was so much fun um and then my biggest regret i thought about this one a lot um, and my biggest regret would be in the beginning not branching out and trying to meet new people I came in with a roommate that was my friend from high school and I kind of just like settled into like a little group of Friends and I didn't really try to like go out and make new friends of my own when I did um, Freshman year I was running cross-country. So I had like my cross-country friends and like I, we would do stuff with our team. I would come home and hang out with my roommate and like our little group of friends But I wish I kind of would have put myself out there more and found I don't know just found like more people and met more people because I found it really hard to kind of make new friends and meet people after like freshman and sophomore year Everyone's kind of like settled into their groups. The biggest tip um, If you are going into college is to put yourself out there as much as possible Don't be afraid to make new friends because um, those friends are going to be the ones that you make the most memories with and you're going to have in your life for a long time. So put yourself out there, make new friends, try new things. I know it's, it's so hard, it's so uncomfortable. It's way easier said than done, but it's something I really wish I would have done. And my actually one regret. Um, okay. What advice would you give to your younger self? I love this one. So... I would, I have a few things. Number one would be to stop giving a shit what anyone else thinks of you. I'm like, I'm there now. Like, I do not care what you think of me. I don't care. Your opinion means nothing to me. It doesn't affect me. My life is my life. And your life isn't yours if you care what other people think. Bottom line. Um, so definitely stop caring what other people think. It literally doesn't concern you and their opinions mean nothing. So stop caring do your own thing um and second um is something that i really really wish that i would have been more aware of and i would have kind of like took the reins on because it really kind of changed like my career path um so growing up i always wanted to be a teacher like my entire life I would come home from kindergarten and I would read like a picture book and show it to my stuffed animals I would line them up and I would like pretend to be a teacher like my whole life um I wanted to be a teacher so bad and then as I started getting older in high school I really got into fashion and beauty and I was watching YouTube all the time and I kind of was like I don't know if education is really my calling anymore i loved fashion and i really wanted to go i really wanted to pursue fashion either in fashion merchandising or something like that um looking back i probably would have done like business in fashion merchandising or marketing or something like that parents kind of were like you know what you wanted to be a teacher so long there's not really a lot of money in that um probably just stick with education like and I am so upset with myself that I didn't stand my ground and say like, no, this is what I want to do with my life. This is what I'm going to do um, because I did take all the loans out in my name and I paid for my whole school. So I really, really wish that I would have done that for myself. So don't let your parents or your siblings or your friends influence you on big life decisions like that. If it's something you are passionate about and you want to do, you're gonna succeed like bottom line you are going to succeed if you're passionate and you have the work ethic and the drive you'll get there because you won't stop until you you're done you won't stop until you get it so don't let anyone influence you on those kind of things don't let anyone tell you what to do or what you should do because again it's your life you know no one else is living your life for you this is all for you and no one you know you should always do what's true to you so yeah, that's the one thing 
um, that I definitely, you know, would change. But then it's hard to say, like, do I want, like, would I regret what I chose? Because everything in life leads you to the point you are. And, I mean, everything kind of happened and fell into place for a reason, I guess. And I am the person I am today because of what I went through with my experiences. So, I don't know if I regret that, but to my younger self or anyone out there going into college, um, literally don't do anything for anyone else. Focus on you and what you actually want to do because college is expensive and you don't want to waste your money or your time. So definitely think about that. There is somewhere you would like to travel. Um, I really want to go back to Europe. I really loved when I went and visited my sister when she studied abroad in Rome and I loved Italy so much. That was like amazing. So I'd love to go back and go to like Paris um, and spend more time in Italy, maybe go to Florence, um, Capri. Um, I also really want to go to Greece. I always see pictures and would love to go to Greece. So, how to not get makeup on your clothes when you're changing outfits. What I do is I'll like put the shirt over my head and kind of like stretch out the neck and then like pull it over my face so it never touches my face. That's usually what I do. Um, my favorite makeup product, it has to be the Glossier Cloud Paint in Haze. Glossier is amazing. I love that this camera focuses. <laughs> That's great. Um, cloud paint in a cloud paint in haze is the best and also their boy brow which I'll be using in a little bit is amazing is your favorite self tanner who had some questions on Instagram if I'm self tanning right now um, I'm not this is like all natural all from the Sun I do wear sunscreen on my face every single day though so my face is always a little bit paler than the rest of my body um, but my favorite self tanner is the Saint Mariz um tanning mousse in the color dark it's their darkest color it's like 12 dollars and it's better than loving tan oh my god <clears throat> it's better than loving tan saint tropez it's just the best i've ever used so i love that one i have some questions about what do i do for work and what did i study in school so i studied early childhood education in school and i'm certified to teach preschool through third grade um, I did my student teaching in first grade and I loved it and if I was going to be a teacher I would teach first grade or kindergarten um, And what I do for work right now. So after I graduated last May I was searching for teaching positions and It was like in August and I still haven't secured a job yet So I never really got down on myself. I'm like something's gonna fall into place something will happen and then the family that I nannied for all throughout um, college offered me a full-time nanny position and they actually offered me more money than I would be making teaching so it kind of was a no-brainer for me at the time just to accept it and I'm now going into my second year of nannying for them and after that I'm either going to pursue a teaching job or work um, for a company running their social media um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet all about growing my own social media platform I where I what I really want to do is I want to grow my social media platforms um, and then I want to start my own company I want to have my own brand I want to sell products that's like the main goal but I know in order to get there I'm gonna have to work other jobs until I can reach the point where I don't have to have a job and I can work for myself and I'm gonna do that through social media um, so that's the plan right now. I have like a few ideas for some things I want to start. My sister and I actually, she might like do it with me and we might be business partners. Um, but we have like one like brand and we have some ideas for that. So, um, the next question is how do I do my brows? So I just use Glossier Boy Brow. It is amazing. I think it's $18. So it's not like drugstore, but it's like right in between. And it's this really teeny tiny little wand. And I basically will just brush my brows up. I don't fill them in or anything. This is tinted and I have the color brown. And I just brush them up. That's all I do. They're actually getting really, really long. Um, but I never 
plucked my eyebrows growing up or even like now i never i never even touch them the only thing i'll do is i'll like shave like the middle section i have like those little brow shavers so sometimes i'll do that um but i actually haven't done that in a while question is places to go in cleveland after quarantine is over so i do live in cleveland um if you did not know i live in cleveland ohio um i live like 20 minutes from downtown so i kind of live in a suburb i don't live like in actually downtown um the number one dinner place i would recommend is luca italian it is the best italian food you'll ever eat in your entire life i just went there on friday and it was iconic it is unreal i i'm not even exaggerating i know I exaggerate a lot but it is better than the food i had in italy and i am not even lying for a second it is the best food i have ever eaten and i will always <laughs> rave about luca it is so good it's very expensive but for good reason because it's the best thing you'll ever eat um i also really like the flats the flats are really fun it's just a lot of restaurants and bars right on the water and it's really cute all right the only lipstick i've used for like years now is the flower beauty lipstick in bear pout it's like the perfect pinky nude color and it is so pretty um i love it you can get it on amazon for like seven dollars um because they don't sell it at target or walmart anymore which is so annoying here is the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed this little q a um thanks for hanging out with me and doing my makeup i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys